As we near the 100 deadliest days on Utah roads, drivers can expect to see more motorcycle enforcement. UHP motor troopers are looking for seatbelt violations and speeders. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee spoke to a new UHP motor trooper who will take to the road in just a few weeks and hopes to inspire more women to wear the uniform and serve. Utah Highway Patrol has been using motorcycles since 1923. A full-time staff of more than 20 motorcycle troopers that features an all-male group until now. It's definitely a challenging thing and uh, you just have to have the mental strength to get through it and push yourself through the entire class. After passing a series of pre-screening testing and coursework, Trooper Kate Van Rosendahl will be UHP's first female motorcycle trooper. It's a cool experience, I guess, but um, I don't want to take away from all the hard work that all of the others had to do for sure. All the guys definitely had to go through the exact same experience that I did, and but it's a, it's a really cool thing. Trooper Van Rosendahl grew up riding dirt bikes. While with UHP, she expressed interest in joining the motorcycle division. I just kind of reached out and was like, I'll give it a shot, I guess, see what happens. And it just kind of worked out. Over the years, a handful of other women have tried to go through motor school, but just didn't complete the course. I had bruises from my mid thigh all the way down to the bottom of my feet from the whole entire experience. And so it was just definitely like, keep going, keep going, keep going. It sucks. Your body hurts, your hands hurt. You can't pick stuff up at the end of the night. A grueling few weeks of course training will now lead to a few more weeks of training on our roads before she hits the road for patrol. I really hope it inspires other females to apply to highway patrol and try and be on motors with me. I need more females to come ride with me. In Murray, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. As the first female graduate from motor training, Trooper Van Rosendahl expects some drivers to be a little surprised when she approaches their vehicle. Just remember, her main goal is to keep the roads safe as we approach the summer travel season.